Hello friends, welcome. Today I will narrate the tale of The Ant and the Grasshopper. Don't forget to subscribe. In a lush forest, various insects and flowers coexisted. Among these insects were the ant and the grasshopper. During spring, the forest echoed with bird songs and all animals feasted on nuts and fruits. In summer, festivities and parties began, accompanied by songs. Meanwhile, the hard-working ant, known for its diligence, collected seeds from flowers, fruits from trees, and also gathered food from the ground. For winter, it stored a pile of firewood to burn in its stove during the cold months. The ant never tired, never complained, diligently and seriously performed its tasks with great discipline. It loved to work and found joy in its labor. On the other hand, the grasshopper had a completely different character. With a violin in hand, it roamed, ate, and enjoyed parties throughout spring and summer. Moreover, it made no preparations for winter. Its favorite activities were eating, drinking, and sleeping. Not only did the grasshopper mock the hardworking ant, saying it didn't know how to enjoy life in the summer, but it also worked itself into exhaustion. The poor ant, no matter how tired it was, paid no attention to the grasshopper's words. Instead, it smiled and offered a piece of the food it had diligently collected, saying in a friendly tone, Dear grasshopper, you're enjoying life so much, indeed the weather is beautiful. In this lovely weather, I would like to enjoy life just like you. Look, you're having so much fun alone here, but still, maybe we could have a better time together with my friendship. I have such beautiful stories to tell you. Wouldn't you like to listen? If you help me a bit, we can gather more food together and then enjoy this beautiful weather together. What do you think? The grasshopper, too engrossed in its enjoyment, ignored the ant's words. In a mocking tone, it replied, what would someone like me have to do with a boring ant like you? I'm fine here right now. You can leave your work and come to me, but I have no intention of working, to be honest. The ant wasn't offended by the grasshopper's words. On the contrary, after greeting it with a big smile, it continued with its beloved work. Time passed and winter arrived. A blanket of pure white snow covered everything. Everyone retreated to their homes and silence enveloped the surroundings. The ant, enjoying its warm dinner in its cozy home, was surprised when someone knocked on its door. Opening the door, it found the grasshopper, shivering with hunger and hardship. Without saying a word, the ant immediately welcomed it inside. Come in, dear friend, you must be freezing. Clearly, you have no shelter in this cold. You can stay in my home as long as you want. Besides, I need a friend like you. Being alone in this house all winter is so boring, isn't it? Said the ant. The grasshopper, pleased with the ant's friendly hospitality, suddenly remembered their conversation during the summer. Realizing its unfair treatment, it asked, I was so cold and hungry. No one gave me food or shelter, but you, despite my mistreatment during the summer, opened your home and shared your meal. Why are you doing this? With a big smile and loving eyes, the ant looked at the grasshopper for a while and replied, ah, my dear friend grasshopper, I remember when I offered you my friendship in the summer, you turned me down. I recall that day, but I didn't get angry with you for rejecting me. Instead, thinking that you might suffer from hunger in winter, I worried about you. Now, Seeing that what I thought for you that day has unfortunately come true and you've ended up in a difficult situation, I want to help you. I accept you just as you are. Instead of being angry with you for your past actions, I welcome you warmly. Now, we can spend pleasant moments together in this cold winter. You can play your violin and I'll enjoy listening. This way, our friendship will strengthen and who knows, next summer, we can gather provisions for our homes together and spend happy times. What do you think? The grasshopper smiled gratefully, embracing its new friend warmly. Thus, the foundations of an everlasting friendship were laid. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.